Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Wherever you are, remember, you have greatness inside of you. Welcome back to another great video with the hockey coach, your coach and chief for the Hockey Nation Live Show. This is game number 28, a pre-game for the Montreal Canadiens. Today, the O's, the Chicago Blackhawks. Don't go nowhere to see and to hear all the information you need to know between both teams for the game tonight and Montreal at the Bell Center start at 7 o'clock and we invite you, don't forget to join us. We're going to do the live stream play-by-play -play with the hockey coach, Guru Code Frenchy, 7 p.m. But before we start, we invite you, don't forget to subscribe to the Hockey Nation Live Show. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, please click on the likes that we're helping us to grow. And finally, tell us your prediction of the game between the Hawks and the Abs tonight. Uh, let's dive in about what you need to know by the number. We do all the time uh, with you guys. Uh, let me get getting the first graphic. Uh, of course, the Montreal Canadiens lost the last game. Again, at Tampa Bay, it was a difficult loss for them. Again, uh, by a score at 3 2. 6 18 3 so far for the Montreal Canadiens. 2 7 1, the last 10 game. At home, they are 4 9 1, and on the road, 2 9 2. For the Chicago Blackhawks, they lost the last game again in New York Rangers by a score of 6 2. They are 9 14 and 2. 5 5, the last 10 game at home, 5 6 and 1. And on the road, 4 8 and 1. Now the power play, both teams struggle. 16.9 for Chicago, 13.4. For the Montreal Canadian on the short and third PK, 81.4 for the Ox, 72.3 for the Montreal. They're getting a little bit better on the PK. The goals for both teams can score. That's easy, that's simple. Both teams are 29 and 30 in initial, so expect to have not many goals tonight. Uh, goal again, uh, they give a lot of goal in return. 3.24 for the Ox, 3.56 for the Montreal Canadian. The shot for uh, uh, Chicago does not hit, uh, they don't shoot a lot, 27.8. Montreal are 29.2. Face off, uh, they are pretty much even, 48.7. Chicago, 48.4 for the Montreal Canadiens, the leader for both teams for the Chicago Blackhawks. Uh, Zed John have 22 points so far, an amazing great year so far with the kid, with, with John. He yeah, also the 2 high, 26.07. Mac and Fleury dominate for the most a win as a goaltender for the Chicago with seven. Finally, they break out, continues to scoring like a machine, 14 goals so far uh, with the Hawks. Uh, for the Montreal Canadiens, uh, Tyler uh, Nixski lead now with the most of the point 18 game and 37 game, and there's a seven goal. And uh, now Ben Chariot playing the most at time, 23 23. Of course, Jake Allen have 5 W for the Montreal Canadiens as a goaltender. Shopping up uh, what you need to know. First of all, Montreal 6 18 3, already know. Chicago 9 14 and 2. Game starts at 7 o'clock in Montreal. We expect Allen visit. Flurry tonight. The last five game on trial is 1 3 and 1. A little bit better on this friend shot with minus 3. Uh, the power play a struggle, of course, 2 and 16. But also the same thing for the PK. So the PK is getting a little bit better. Allen now is at 3.01. Save percentage on 9.05 and 06 with a 5 12 and 2. Last five game, Tofoli have five points. He so have two goals. Tofoli have four assists. And Tofoli is plus 3. Uh, what you need to know for the bottom, number three, uh, exactly, is uh, that both teams struggle the last five games, honestly, on special team. Chicago, the player you have to watch is, of course, Kane, Taze, Zed John, and the Brinkat. Uh, let's move on to the next graphic. Uh, I'm talking about the last 10 games from the Montreal Canadiens, 271. Again, uh, only 26 goals versus 44 for the minus 18, 4 and 23. Um, for the power play, still below 20%. The PK still struggle. They are about 65% on the last 10 game. The next thing you need to check uh, is about uh, Frenchy Corner, game 28. Uh, what we heard at 11 o'clock Eastern time today, Devarek is out for tonight. Eilonen is in uh, for uh, the Montreal Canadiens, going to be on the four line. Uh, Sham has to keep same work it's sick. What are you talking about, coach? They play very well as a team against the probably uh, uh, last uh, game at Tuesday night. They need to keep the same tempo, the same pace of their speed, but also the work is sick. It was really more aware on the defensive side, and I like what the play, the overall how they play against the Tampa Bay. I want, of course, 
Uh, that'd be great if they can play and repeat exactly again the Chicago Blackhawks to give them a chance to win tonight. And now in that situation, Laval Sweden. Uh, this is getting a little bit of drama around the Montreal Canadian about the Lander situation. Now, Lander, I got a, a nuts call in Sweden, said, I would prefer to go home and play in Sweden. I need to play. I want to be on the ice. Montreal, by Dunmik Sharm, he's have a, we have a difficult time to put him more at 13 minutes per game. That's not acceptable in my eyes. He showed up yesterday for the first game in Laval, one goal, power play, and a power play goal. That's how Nalando did yesterday. Great game overall for him, uh, his first game uh, back in Laval. And that showed to me Nalando need to play more every single time. And he have to call, they have the call up. Uh, I don't know he need to be in Sweden. I don't think so. But he need to play. Whatever it is in Sweden, Sweden, China, or Canada, whatever it is. And Laval, he need to play the kids. He have too much good skill and talent, that kid right now, to let him understand I feel like the Montreal Canadiens does not do a great job about that. That's why to bring development players is questionable in my eyes. They burned too many kids in Montreal since a long time ago. And this was under the regime of Bergevin. And I don't like what I see they do right now for Nolander. If Jordan Harris right now learn all this kind of stuff is going on in Montreal, he's go I'm sure he's not going to sign with the Montreal Canadiens. And I think I find at that moment, Montreal... It does not do a great job the way they develop their kids all the time. Uh, you cannot leave a kid under. And they did the same thing with Cook Enemy and during the playoff last season. Carfield before and now Carfield this year. And listen, they bring Lauren Dauphin. Nothing against the kids. He played more minutes to Poland and Carfield. They bring a new kids from the Los Angeles kid uh, as a defenseman. They claim him on the waiver. Play on the... Power play unit number one, and you don't want to let play no lender. It just not make sense. This for me is really not acceptable. The way they, they develop their kids, the way they take those questions. It's very questionable the way the decision of Dermic Sharm about the utilization of the young kids at that moment. We see what they're going to do tonight with Ilonen, Caulfield, Poland, Romanov, and, um, and that's see what's happening. Um, Chicago is not better by number. If you can compare both teams on paper about the number, on power play, shot and dirt, you're going to see more graphics coming. You're going to see Chicago is not better to Montreal Canadiens. Uh, Jonathan Tays have zero goals since the beginning of the year. Um, they are not look like they're supposed to expect at the beginning of the season. They have a new coach, Derek King, a little bit better under him. But at the end of the day, it's a team struggle like the Montreal Canadiens. And uh, we'll see what they look like this game tonight. I'll be ready to score like 3-2, something like that. They cannot score anyway. Fleury is looking for the fifth hundred uh, win as a goaltender in NHL. Can be happening at home and at the Belle Province of Quebec. Uh, we'll see if he can do it. He plays 900 game last game. Uh, again, the New York Rangers. Now he's looking for a 500. He's going to become the third goaltender in history NHL to get the 500 after uh, Patrick Roy and Martin Brodeur. I expect, like I mentioned, a low score tonight. Uh, two teams, difficult time to score more at two goals per game. Uh, I don't see more at this. So it would be really interesting to see the final score, but this is going to be a really low score. 3-1 or 3-2 will be my, my, um, my expectation. Head-to-head um, -head for the team, you can see right now. Uh, it's rare Montreal dominate on those categories, but they, they do tonight. Um, you know, and five versus four, uh, Chicago is at the bottom, five versus five, five versus five, gold four at the bottom also, and uh, five versus five, Corsi four, Chicago is at the bottom. You can see power play go a little bit better for Chicago, finishing uh, a little bit better for Montreal. The five again, five goal again, you can see advantage of different categories, but again, that's a both team are the same level on those kind of numbers. Let's move on to the next one. Offense and shooting compare. compare. Um, you can see uh, not many stars on the graphic for both teams. And obviously, Montreal have a better way on the goals four and the X goals four. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, the defense and goaltending compare. A uh, little bit advantage for the Mont uh, for the Chicago Blackhawks compared to Montreal Canadian uh, overall. But again, both of teams struggle in the league. They are most of the time at the bottom of the NHL. Play driving compare. 
uh, only you can see Montreal dominate a little bit more overall, but not by a big merge. It's only by one star, and you can see both teams don't do very well overall. And you can take uh, time to stop the video to listen uh, to watching more the number, compare the number. Uh, the head to head goaltender again, flurry a little bit better, but not by a big. Uh, number you can see all that uh, they are 12 versus 9 the 5 versus 5 montreal the little bit better jay cannon at 40 versus 3 only flurry and then the penalty kill 66 better chicago montreal is only at 8 i'm not going to go through the number you can take a time to watching this but you can see two cold though two gold tender are not at their best season for so far and during their career this season the lineup for the Montreal Canadiens tonight, you have a couple of chances. You can see Dauphin play a center, third line. Now Ilanen play on the on the right, on the four line. You can already know the how many injuries Montreal have over like 12 players right now out of the lineup for the game tonight. That's the biggest problem they have Montreal Canadiens at that moment. You can jump in on those uh, unit power play and uh, short and third. Next jumping for the Chicago. This is the lineup tonight. Uh, Slavin, the brother of uh, Slavin and Karina, play for the Chicago tonight. Uh, and uh, they will come back, McCabe and Murphy in the lineup. Murphy missed a couple of games with the Chicago Blackhawks. And finally, this is your special unit for the Chicago. And I want to finish, guys, with the prospect Montreal Canadian. I like to do that. Uh, great evening for Caden Primo yesterday. Uh, save 41 of the 39 of the 41 shot. He faced for 951 save percentage. Cooley score and um, for the Edmonton Ice, the gold uh, winner of the goal yesterday, uh, they beat the Winnipeg Ice, the best team in the CHL. And um, Kaden doing very well. Trudeau have an assist. Uh, Mizak score a goal. At the time this team won one uh, four zero. And Nolander have one goal. Uh, won the Rocket win yesterday. Just give you a little bit what's going on with the Canadian prospect. I like to bring to you at the end of the video. And finally, I want to mention the next game is going to be Saturday, seven o'clock. Montreal are in Saint Louis on the road. Um, the game start at seven o'clock. Uh, listen, guys, this is another game when Montreal can compete, maybe win tonight against Chicago Blackhawks. Would be interesting if they can do it a little bit. A little bit, slightly, a little bit of Chicago on my eyes. Like I said, 3-2, 3-1. That's my expectation of the final score. It could be from one way to another way. And that's resume the pregame uh, for the Montreal Canadian game number 28. I look forward to see you tonight at 7 o'clock p.m. for the live stream at Play by Play with the Hockey Coach Guru Ko Frenchy. But before we leave, we want to remind you, of course, don't forget to subscribe, click on the likes, and finally, tell us your prediction of the game. And, of course, you have greatness inside of you. Have an amazing, great day, everybody. I look forward for the next video with the Hockey Coach Guru, Cole Frenchy. Mes amis, c'est la fin du vidéo. Je vous remercie d'avoir regardé un autre vidéo avec l'entraîneur Cole Frenchy. Mais avant de vous laisser, je vous, rapp je vous rappelle, n'oubliez pas de vous souscrire, de vous abonner et finalement de cliquer sur le petit pouce en haut. Et dites-moi votre prédiction de la partie entre Chicago et Montréal. Je vous souhaite une très belle journée. On se revoit plus tard pour une autre vidéo avec l'entraîneur Code Frenchie.